In this video I wanted to talk about the MIDI camera device that I've been developing. Um, it uses a PixArt sensor taken from a Wiimote in the front here, which is capable of detecting up to four uh, blobs of light that can be infrared or visible light. And there are four LEDs running across the top which indicate uh, which blob is currently being tracked. It has a MIDI interface. Um, basically there's a microprocessor section over on the left and there is a hardware support section on the right which is basically all the hardware needed to support the Wiimote uh, sensor. I found these uh, finger lights at Harbour Freight that had visible light LEDs in them. So all I did, I just took them apart and replaced the LEDs with infrared LEDs you can get from Radio Shack. Uh, just an on-off switch here and here. So, I set up the synthesizer to have a theremin-like sound. Uh, it has a portamento on it, which means that each note runs into the next. And if I introduce the first light, you can see we get a very theremin-like sound. The X component of my hand motion is mapped to uh, note number. So, as I go up, it goes up and down. Now, if I were to introduce another light, the Y component of my second hand is controlling volume, kind of like a theremin. Just like that. In this example, I've uh, replaced the code in the MIDI camera with a routine that basically outputs data on a serial port, and I've written an application uh, in C Sharp that reads that serial data and can interpret the light from the camera. Uh, so you can see the red there, and if I add another one, we get a second dot, blue. You just put on a trail so you can see what I'm actually doing. There we go. So there and then in blue too. So really you're only limited by your imagination what you can do with this. Um, the actual camera, once it's taken out of the Wiimote, can track uh, at 100 hertz, uh, which is significantly faster than most video cameras. And uh, not only does it report the X position, but it also, uh, the X and Y position, it also reports the size of the blob, that is how close the light source is to the camera. Uh, 